One thing I want to one thing I want to talk about is you know not all bad things that happen in this world are even caused by God because a lot of people will try and blame God and say well God is doing this and God is doing that. No, we don't believe in Calvinism. So God is not like a puppet master that is just making everything happen. So not everything that is bad in this world is caused by God. You know, number one, let's go to Galatians. You know, number one, some things, some bad things in this world are self-inflicted. It says here, um, be not deceived, God is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. For he that soweth to his flesh shall of the flesh reap corruption. But he that soweth to the spirit shall of the spirit reap life everlasting. So, you know, some people's trials in their life, some people's, some of the bad things and some of the suffering in this world that people experience are self-inflicted, meaning, you know, they have sown to the flesh and they're going to reap of the flesh. Um, you know, some people have made foolish decisions in their life and that's why, you know, they have certain suffering and pain and sorrow. You know, you might have bad habits, you know, like smoking or alcohol or drugs. Um, you know, if you get, think about this, if you get sick because you're not taking care of your health, I mean, is that something that we can blame God for? Of course not. So it's like people that don't look after their diet, you know, and they just eat fast food, they drink a lot of soft drink, you know, and they're obese, and then they start having back problems and knee problems and heart problems. Can they, you know, can they really say that this is God doing it to them? And you know, oftentimes, and it's sad that you know, a lot of um, preachers these days are preaching against the smoking and against the alcohol and against the drugs, but you, you know, they get up and they preach and they're overweight. And then you read about you know, on the missionary letters and things like that, all these health challenges and heart problems and knee problems and back problems, and you're just thinking, well, is it because they're not taking care of their health? It's because they're eating out all the time and drinking all the soft drink and, and putting on weight. You know, can they really say, oh, you know, this is Satan, just, you know, he's just trying to get me down, he's just trying to stop me from serving. Um, when they're just, it's self-inflicted, they're doing it to themselves. You know, it's funny because people make fun of me and my family just for, for being so health conscious and people make fun of people like Michael, you know, that, that are really health conscious, trying to get all the toxins out of their life. But, you know, when, when the time comes, you know, they're getting all the degenerative diseases. You know, who's going to have the last laugh when they didn't take care of their health? So, you know, a lot of people, they make fun of people being, you know, too health conscious. But, um, you know, as time goes on, they'll wish that they had uh, done something about it. So not only health, uh, you know, bad habits, you know, even family breakdowns. I mean, people, their, their marriage breakdown uh, breaks, breaks down. Um, is that God's fault that there are problems that come from that? I mean, you know, I come from a family that is broken as well. And, you know, there's sometimes strife between brothers and sisters, uh, stepbrothers and stepsisters, extended families. For those of you from extended families, you know this. You know, is that God's fault that that happens? That's not God's fault. I mean, these things are self-inflicted. You know, what about poor financial decisions? You know, people, you know, they, they, they put money into a business and then it doesn't work out. And then they think, oh, you know, why did God allow this all to happen to me? Well, that's just part of the risk, right? I mean, if you're going to take the risk to own a business, then you take the risk of that business failing. That's why you know, it's easier to get a job and be an employee, and that's what most people are, because there's less risk there. If you want to take the risk to own a business, you know, that's, just part, that's just part of the way uh, life is. So not saying that, that we shouldn't be compassionate on people that have these problems. I'm saying that we can't blame God. God is not the cause of self-inflicted problems. <clears throat> 